the starting point for that is always going to be research. Um, and Frank and I come from a research background, so researching and world building, those are my favorite parts of, uh, of, of writing. Um, I co also come from a gaming background, so any excuse to build a world, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to do for a long time. You know? uh, so when it comes to world building, I always start with research. And by research, I mean you know, you're not creating something out of thin air, really. I mean, in a lot of ways, you know, you're starting with a, a key idea and you're building off of it. Um, for example, um, I have a novella that's uh, out called Buffalo Soldier. And with that one, uh, uh, it's a steampunk story, um, but I've created a whole alternate history version of America. And so by research, I'm, um, part of the characters are, are Native American characters, for example. Um, so I start with research, you know, what, what were the tribes like? Um, what were um, some of the history that went into the tribe? What are the culture, what are the languages? Um, and so I, that is my starting point in research to create something that feels very real. Because it's from that point that I'm gonna, you know, bend history and bend location and, and sort of speculate about, you know, now I'm transporting that culture into the future. What does their future technology look like? But I start from that very real place that begins with research. Um, and so the other trick, um, it's not I don't know, a trick, um, but another tip would be creating what I call a story bible. And a story bible is a, it's kind of a fancy way of saying organize your notes, um, because that's going to be the one place where you have all of the your characters, for example, and all of their histories and brief bios, um, any maps that I, you know you create for the sake of your world, you have those all in one handy location. If you have a dictionary because you've been making up a language, you keep all those key words in one spot, and so now you have a very, very organized world that you can keep coming back to, you know, time and time again. Because frankly, you're going to forget as you as you do your writing, you're going to forget a lot of the pieces of your world. Here they are in one organized spot. 